In this video, I'm going to talk about Lab 6 in CIS 27A. In this lab, you will be working on recovering image or graphics file. So you simply click in the link once you're in the Lab 6 assignment, and that will take you to the Practice Lab website. And on this lab, um, we will be using Windows 8.1. So you simply power on Windows 8.1 in the middle here and don't forget to enable your pop-up blocker so once the virtual machine is fully on it will show you a separate window which you will be using to complete the steps for the slab in the first exercise which is on page two of the practice lab instructions it talks about how you can use pro discover to acquire the jpeg files as artifacts in Windows 8.1 and the important note that they put here is that the USB drive can be downloaded from tools for, uh, as far as the file from the USB drive and what you will be using is you will use the Internet Explorer inside the Windows 8.1 so you will go through tools data forensic and then we will download the USB.zip like what you've been doing in the last couple of labs once you download the zip file, then you would extract it, and then you can find the extracted files um, in the location of C. So we want to extract it and be able to locate the file under the work folder. So in my Windows 8.1, what I need to do is open up my Internet Explorer of the virtual machine, which is the E on the bottom left. Once I click that, what I will find is it's going to open up the tools and resources page and then we will navigate to tools and then we would go down to the folder the directory that's indicated which is data forensics and then here is the usb.zip so we simply click this to go ahead and download it and then we want to make sure that we save this so click save and this might take a little bit so what you will need to do is to wait for the files to be downloaded then you would extract it like the previous lab so you, we would right click the file and be able to extract it while the file is downloading you can open the file manager to see if that folder actually exists so I simply click the File Explorer icon um, on my taskbar here, and then I would open up my C drive. And in the C drive, what we want to do is we want to navigate to the Work folder, Data Files folder, and we want to extract our zip files in here which is the USB that we are currently downloading. So we want to be able to extract it. So once you right click the file and choose extract, what you need to do is to make sure that you put the actual extracted files in the folders that's indicated in the instructions. So once you have the files extracted, you can open up the Pro Discover based on the instruction of the practice lab. So here, it talks about how you should use the Windows 8.1 machine and be able to begin the exercise one by using the Pro Discover Basic. And you can find that on the desktop of the virtual machine. So here is my virtual machine. And I can simply double click the Pro Discover to open up the applications. It will prompt you with information about the new project or to see if you want to search for a new project. So in the instructions, it tells you, like our prior lab, to be able to close the prompt for the search. And we would want to click on new project toolbar button in the Pro Discover Basic. So we would simply go back to our virtual machine, click cancel here, and then we would go ahead and add 
a new project by clicking that button on the top left. And in this, you would follow the instruction to fill out the information about your um, ProDiscover basic case. So in Practice Lab, it tells you after you created a new project and for the project number and file name, we would put in C0AINCHP and then click OK. So once you have established that, what we will do is, again, we would revert back to here. So once we added the name for our project and the information as shown in the screenshot on page two, then we would begin to add an image file. And this is where you would require the file that you extracted from the USB. So my USB.zip has completed downloading, then I can go into my file explorer here and under the downloads I will be able to find this particular um, this particular zip file. Okay. Once it's completed, then you will be able to extract it. So after you have extracted the files for the USB.zip, you will be able to navigate to the location where they suggest that your file would be stored. So again, that will be in C drive, work, data files, and CH08. If you don't extract it there, you will not be able to find it. So make sure that we extract it to this location after our usb.zip file is downloaded so you simply right click it and extract it like what you've done in the previous lab then once you extract it you would in pro discover you would navigate to find this particular file and click open now as you proceed through the step and you start searching for the location where that file would be stored on the disk so ProDiscover will allow you to look through the cluster to be able to find where that file is stored. Okay. Now, once we have that, we would be able to select the disk and the file information. And that will be the path that we select. Now, also in step eight, you will have to wait a few minutes for that to process. And it all depends on your connectivity to the virtual machine as well. However, that does take a little bit of time. The same thing as when you download the .zip file before the extraction. So in step 9, it's going to have you go and look for the FIP. And that's going to locate further down on the right-hand side. And it's going to be highlighted in blue. So make sure you look out for that. And with that, what we can see is we can see a map of our cluster where that file is stored. And in here, what we will be able to examine is that it's going to give you the graphical view of where that file is, is stored at, on the cluster. Then we will search for AC4. And once you initiated the search, it's going to narrow down on where that, that piece of information for our data um, as an image. Okay. 
So we will find that location where that file is, is actually at in the graphical view of our disk. And you would find that there. So once you have locate that, you will right click, you will click it and click find file. And then it gives you the cluster information. So what we want to do from this is to be able to get the image, find the file location on the cluster. Once that file is located using ProDiscover, we will be able to acquire the cluster information. And we then would choose high quality and to be able to piece together the information about that particular file. So once you locate the DSC00018 file, we are going to copy it. And that's on step 15. Once we copy the files, then we're going to be able to put it into the location, which is uh, the recover information. So what we want to do is we want to pull the file from the cluster and be able to copy it and put it into the location where we would have it for analysis. Then once you have that, you will go ahead and click Save. After your copy, and we will proceed to the next part. So after you complete that, um, Practice Lab gives you the Project 8-1, which is similar in as exercise. So you have to complete the hands-on project, repeating the same step that you did in Exercise 1 using a different file right similar process so if you are uncertain you can go back to exercise one to take a look at how you achieve certain tasks and then to be able to complete the hands-on project once we have everything complete following the steps as indicated for the hands-on project you are to create the report and export the report and store it in as a certain file and then close ProDiscover Basic. So the hands-on project 8-2 is a repeating process with using using ProDiscover and DD. Um, so complete the steps as it's indicated for 8.2 and 8.3. Now in 8.3, it also walks you through looking at bitmap file, which is different than the exercise one. In exercise one, we have the JPEG file. So in this, in this hands-on project, it asks you to look at the bitmap file. Um, and it walks you through the process on using Infraville. So, as you can see, there will be different process on how you would look at specific images in Forensic. And there will be a couple of files that the projects will walk you through. So make sure that we complete these steps. And then at the end, when you reach the summary, it's going to go over the details about graphic files, things that you need to look for. And so there are three types in the, in, in that save to a graphic file, the bitmap, the vector, and the meta file. So when you look at the bitmap images, there's certain indication about the image. Number one, bitmap is just going to give you the dots. And then the vector is going to give you the instructions that's pertain to curve and text and geometric shape in that file. And meta file graphics are going to be the bitmap and the vector images. So go over the summary information because it's going to give you a little bit more details about graphics information, about the differences in graphics, the type of file. So when you're working with GIF is different than TIFF, also with bitmap and JPEG. And in the case where if we're investigating 
um, files that are coming from camera systems or smartphones, we want to be able to analyze it and understand the difference between the files. So here it talks about the file type, the file format, the differences between the different file types, and how to implement Forensic Tool to be able to analyze different types of graphic files. So make sure that we review the summary at the end of your lab. And once you do that, then you can click done. And that will link to Canvas and update your grade. If you have any questions or any challenges, please email me or send an in Canvas inbox message. Thank you.